Hello friends, this video on triangle and its properties part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now there are many different types of triangles. In fact, the types of triangles also varies depending on what is the basis for categorizing triangles. Now first of all, let's talk about the types of triangle based on the sides. So there are three types of triangles. The first one is scale in triangle, which is that type of triangle where all the sides are unequal. That means when you measure the sides, all of them are of unequal length. For example, you have this triangle ABC. So in a scale in triangle, the length of AB is not equal to the length of BC, which is again not equal to the length of AC. So this defines a scale in triangle. The next type of triangle is an isosceles triangle. Now in isosceles triangle, two sides are equal. So a type of triangle where if, if this is A, B and C, so in this type of triangle, AB is equal to AC. That means this side and this side are equal in length. Now since these two sides are equal in length, these angles are also equal in length. These are called the base angles. So angle B is equal to angle C and angle B and angle C are called the base angles because they are like located on the base. This is the base side and these two angles are located on the base side. So they are called base angles. So that is isosceles triangle. Can you guess what would be the third type of triangle? See first type of triangle was scaling where all sides were unequal. Second type was isosceles where two sides are equal. Third is equilateral where all sides are equal. Equi, the word equi comes from equal. So all sides equal, all angles equal. So something like this. So here if you have a triangle ABC, so here in this case AB is equal to AC is equal to BC. So in this case AB equal to AC equal to BC. All sides are equal. All angles are also equal. That is angle A is equal to angle B is equal to angle C. So based on the length of the sides, whether the sides are equal or unequal, triangles are divided into scaling, isosceles and equilateral triangles. Now let us look at the types of triangles based on the angles, based on whether the how the angles are, what is their value. So the first type of triangle would be acute angled triangle. That means all angles in this triangle will be less than 90 degrees. So all angles are acute angles. So in this figure you can see that each of this angle is less than 90 degrees. So this is an acute angled triangle. The next type would be right angled triangle. So in a right angled triangle one angle is 90 degrees. As you can see here, this angle is 90 degree and other two angles are definitely acute angles. Now, do you think that you can have a triangle where two angles are 90 degree? No, you can't. If you want, you can just try it out because a triangle will have only three sides. It cannot have more than three sides. So in order to have 190 degree, this is how the arrangement should be. Now, if you want one more 90 degree, that means there has to be the third side should be perpendicular either to this or the third side has to be perpendicular to this. Now in both the cases, do you think that you will be able to form a triangle? No. Even though you have three sides, but you do not form a closed polygon. You do not form a closed boundary, bounded figure. So therefore, this is not a triangle. So you cannot have a triangle with more than 190 degrees. So whenever you have a triangle where one angle is equal to 90 degree, that is called a right angled triangle. And the third type of triangle would be obtuse angled triangle where one angle is greater than 90 degree. Something like this. So when you look at this angle, this angle is greater than 90 degree. However, the other two angles are again acute angles. That's because once you have one angle greater than 90 degree, the other angles will be smaller. Again, in a similar way, you can see it for yourself that you cannot have a triangle where more than one angle is an obtuse angle. 
Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.